Welcome back to S Wiggins TV. I'm your host, Worldwide Wiggins. And I'm back with that new gas I've been promising, man. Shouts out to the Damu homie, man. He put me on this topic, you know what I'm saying? He gave me the idea. Today we're going to discuss hoods out there with members from a lot of ethnic and different foreign nationalities, man. You know, people from different countries, reptiles from different hoods, man. This is, I love this topic right here. This is going to be dope. You know what I'm saying? So let's get straight to it, man. As a mom who came from a third world country, myself, I understand how important it is to be able to adapt to a new environment. If you've been rocking with me, you know one thing for sure, two things for certain. I'm not American. I came from another country. I even told y'all the reason I put that Street Fighter music in the beginning of my videos, you know, when I showed a map of LA, is because... Me and my oldest brother was so poor, you know what I'm saying? We would come outside barefoot with no shoes on. And we had a neighbor on the end of our block with a Super Nintendo. And we were so intrigued and so fascinated because we had never seen a video game in real life before. And, you know, we was looking at each other like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Look at the graphics, you know, look at this invention, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and uh, he had Street Fighter 2. He had a bunch of gangs. You know, he was considered a rich man. We like, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> you know, not only were we poor in this country, we were the poorest people in the neighborhood. We was bottom of the barrel. At that time, I was five. and My brother was like 12, 13. A year later, we moved to America. I lived in L.A. and Miami, among other places, but briefly. So I play that music because it brings back memories and it shows how far I came in life. Now that you heard that long ass intro, let me let you know what I said all of that to say, you know what I'm saying? I understand what it's like coming from another country and struggling to adapt to American culture. Today, let's touch on LA hoods that contain members who have immigrants from other countries slash members who are descendants of immigrants from other countries. Now, before we get started, certain hoods will not make this list. For example, Tonga Crips, uh, Sons of Samoa Crips, or Asian Boy Crips, or African Mafia Crips, they not gonna be on this list because they name already tells you that they automatically are of foreign descent. That's cheating. <laughs> Respect to all the hoods I just mentioned, you know what I'm saying? But we gonna look at hoods that have members of foreign descent which may be unbeknownst to people outside of the underworld or people outside of LA. We're gonna do it a little different this time. We're gonna list them by the country. Now enough talking, here we go. Let's start off with Belize. Now, Belizeans populate the whole LA. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of Belizeans scattered all across LA, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of Belizeans in LA. But they tend to really populate areas like mid-city area up into South Central LA for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Don't fry me for this, but just pay attention. The rolling 30s and the rolling 40s are hella populated with Belizean. And the people in these areas represent the nationality with pride. If you listen to Doty Six, a rapper from Rolling 40s, he even got a song called Z is Belizean. I ain't gonna lie, I like that song. And if we gonna mention Belizeans in the 30s, we gonna have to include the Fruit Town brands and even the Van Ness gangster brands. They are not exempt from having tons of Belizean members in their hood. Stretch, a well-known Fruit Town brand member, once did a popular interview on Street TV where he mentioned he was from Belize or, you know, he, his family. Just check it out. To the Fruit Town Brim, the Rolling Twenties is majority Belizean, the BPS Jungles and the Biddy Stones is Belizean, the Harlems, half of they, and they almost whole hood is Belizean, and the Forties is Belizean, and you got a gang of Sixties that's Belizean. Those are all of the predominant popular gangs in LA that's putting stuff down. I don't even speak a lot of Creole out here to the American homies because they take that almost as a weakness. If I got a problem with a real Barlam from Belize and we are getting into it and, it's, and our names come up, we can call each other on the phone and say, let's go meet somewhere and we're going to go meet and we're going to sit down and talk and iron out whatever our problems is. Or Now, move on over to the 50s. Let's talk about the Fidus and the Fidus Hoovers. The Fidus Hoovers got a gang of homies of Mexican heritage. 
as well as the Finite Hoover. Matter of fact, I speak to a lot of OGs from South Central, and they told me in the future it's gonna be more Hispanic Hoovers than black in a minute. Now the OG was not pleased about it, but I'm different. I appreciate blacks and Latinos coming together, and I love that. Another hood with a lot of Mexican members are the Swans. If you notice, when I mention the Swans, I don't single out the sections like Mob Swans, Mad Swans, Family Swans. I'm saying the whole Swan conglomerate. That sound hardest. The whole Swan conglomerate has a lot of Mexican members, but also another heritage that populates the Swan conglomerate or the Jamaican. My whole life, I've been cool with Jamaicans. They are like the most cool, loyalist people, and I really rock with them. And I love that jerk chicken. <laughs> the country I come from in Jamaica are, are very similar. And you might want to pay attention and find out what country I'm from because you might win some money doing a giveaway next month. Also, just before doing this research, my boy just told me it's a lot of Jamaicans from 984 Main Street Mafia Cribs. You know, that's the mixture of the 98 and 84, the 984 Main Street Mafia Cribs. I wasn't really hip to that info, but y'all let me know in the comments, man. Your Ross Clot. <laughs> Next, reach back into your memory bank and see if you can recall when I did that Hood Legends on Tiny V from West Boulevard when allegedly he went down for the murder of that beautiful Spanish woman. I think her name was Lori or something, who was of Salvadorian descent or something like that. And I told you, my Damu homie told me he used to have a major crush on her. And she was so beautiful and sweet. Rest in peace to her. All right, remember that. And also remember training day where Denzel brings the rookie cop to his baby mama house in the jungle. And she was Salvadorian, and she even told him, hey, here's some Salvadorian food. Even though this was just a movie, I just want y'all to know that it's no coincidence. The BPS hood and the Rolling 20s are filled with a lot of Salvadorians and Guatemalans and Belizeans. That movie was so well put together that it had to be, you know, done on purpose to let the viewers know it's a lot of people in that area of that descent. I'm not really into Latinas like that, you know. I'm not really attracted to them at all, you know. Shouts out to all my Latinas. I'm just saying, though. I'm just, I'm just into a, you know, a few of them, like the one who played uh, Denzel, uh, Baby Mama, Eva Mendez. Woo. Yeah, she's sexy. She bad. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying. I, I'm S. Wiggins. You know, I'm going to say something strange. I got a confession to make. I'm also attracted to that that uh, that uh Spanish girl. I don't know if she's Mexican, but the one that hang with Crip Mac. Lupe? I don't know, girl. She kind of pretty to me. Am I weird for that? <laughs> hey, don't judge me, homie. Your baby mama ain't that pretty either, bro. What you looking at? I don't know, man. I'm, a, I'm attracted to her. With all due respect. She kind of pretty. <laughs> Shout out to Lupe, man. Next, I'm pretty sure when you seen I was doing the list of different nationalities in LA hoods, you knew I was going to eventually have to mention the 60s. If you didn't know, the late great Nipsey Hussle was of Eritrean descent, along with his brother, Black Sam, and his homie, Rest in Peace and Man. Now, Eritrea or Eritrea, I'm not sure how you really pronounce it, but it's a... Uh, it's a country, I think, in Eastern Africa, but it's in Africa somewhere for sure. You know, he took a vacation out there when he was 18, I remember he said, and then he came back and he, he fell in love with the culture and how they had a closeness between the family, you know what I'm saying? How they would come together and stop working at a certain time just so you could go home and be with your family. It's a real dope country, man. We can learn a lot from that. Rest in peace to Nepsey, man. And the culture of Eritreanism, it seems to be very fluent in the Crenshaw District area. All right, next. When I got injured and I went to the hospital in the UCLA Harbor, you know, on Carson Street in Vermont, I remember, like, that area had a lot of Samoans. I mean, it's damn near impossible to not have a Samoan member from Carson Hoods, like, you know, the Carson Westside Power Road, the Scott Park Power Road, the Scottsdale Power Road. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the Bounty Hunters, freaking uh, Grace Avenue. Make sure I don't forget nobody because, 
you know, I, I, I did promise I was going to shout, you know, shout out to Carson Pete, the, the Carson homies out there, the, 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 the Carson Wexes out there that support me, man. All y'all, man. It's a lot, a lot of Samoans out there, man. It's, it's, it's Samoan City out there. Another hood with a lot of Samoa members, you know, is the Park Village Compton Cribs. They run rapping over there as well. They even got their own section. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Before we get up out of here. Honorable mentions, you know, there's a rapper in Inglewood, neighborhood Paru. You know what I'm saying? I rock with a lot, man. His name is Pete Thrizzle. I believe he's, 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 uh, I don't want to say Chinese and he's not so, I, but I know he's of Asian descent, man. You know what I'm saying? That was dope. You know what I'm saying? I, I like Pete Thrizzle. I like his music. I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I respect the real. I'm colorblind when it comes to real. You know what I'm saying? I respect Pete Thrizzle. I like his music. Y'all go check him out. You know what I'm saying? Also, Sharky from Fido's Hoover. You know, as much as there's uh, Mexicans and all that, there is an Asian homie out there in the Fido's Hoover, Sharky. You know what I'm saying? I rock with his music too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go check him out as well. And, uh, Last but not least, also, you got the Stevenson Village Carson Crips. I was told, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot of Nigerians out there. They tend to populate that area where the Stevenson Villages is at, man. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to the Stevenson Villages. That's what's up, man. And uh, while we on Stevenson Village Carson Crips, the homie Do Dirty from stevenson village yeah he had a few words he wanted me to share with y'all you gonna lay it down like this you know why is it that ninjas from the safe city or section hate to see you grow or be bigger and better than you used to be if you did your dirt when you was young and you beat the odds why is it some of your homies still want you to be in the hood doing the same thing all over again jail ain't no place for crips or bloods or paros you know just being black they looking for you to fail so if anybody, you know, want to better theyself and, you know, stop hanging in the hood and start working and making money and make it out their city, you know, and get up out of jail, you know, you know, do their thing. They should be considered a trophy, you know, because they trying to reach their goals in life and, 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 and be somebody that the younger homies can look up to. But no matter what, you know what I'm saying, you don't forget where you came from. You going to always have love for the hood. You going to always live by certain principles. So, the number one rule, rats get smacked. We don't condone that 6 9 or that gunnish. You know what I'm saying? Not never. And that's no sneak this to nobody for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this for my boy, Do Dirty. You know what time it is, cuz. I'll let your boy, man. But yeah, we reached the end, man. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, man. Gas coming this week, man. I'm out of here. Wait!